Continue our coverage tonight. The teenage driver charged in the hit and run that killed Clovis Vice Principal Gavin Gladding is back in jail this evening. Today, Rogelio Alvarez Maravilla changed his plea from not guilty to no contest. His family emotional after he was taken away in handcuffs. Our Alexandre Balakian explains this new plea may mean he spends less time behind bars. That's right. We've heard scenarios that Mara Villa could spend anywhere from four to 12 years in state prison. Now, we talked to one local criminal defense attorney who says the change in plea to no contest could mean that sentence could carry only three years, maybe even less. So I'm going to remain in custody, no bail. Rahelio Alvarez Mara Villa hauled off in handcuffs after he pled no contest to killing Gavin Gladding in a hit and run back in September. The suspect's family visibly upset by the judge's decision to lock him up now, screaming no justice right outside the courtroom. <laughs> it's a lose-lose situation. Criminal defense attorney and legal analyst David Mugridge says the new plea of no contest was something that was decided prior to the hearing, but the judge's decision to remand Alvarez Maravilla may have been spontaneous. It could have been that the judge actually hadn't even made up his mind until he got out there and sat on the bench, and, and then, uh, you know, as a human being, he's looking at the mass of humanity that's in that courtroom and, and uh, the suffering on both sides that obviously is going on and made his decision. We've heard very little from the defense attorney, Eddie Ruiz, only making this statement following the hearing. From the day my client came to see me in my office, um, he wanted to accept responsibility, and that's what he did today. Mugridge believes this no contest plea could have come with an agreed upon sentence. In a case like this, that the attorneys have already talked to the judge and they already have some kind of an idea of what the judge has in mind. Alvarez Maravilla's sentencing is due in December. Of course, there are two other suspects in this case, Fernanda Lopez and Moises Guerrero. They were also appearing in court today, and they have pled not guilty. In the newsroom tonight, Alexander Lake in KC24, local news that matters.